Hello, my name is Seth Chandler, boat broker with At Ease Yachts. I'm here outside this stunningly gorgeous 4788 Bay Liner, a 2000 model, and it is tight. Every single thing about it is in pristine order. We're gonna take a quick look um, from the dock side, of course. Um, the gel coat is in really excellent shape. I'm gonna take the outside first as the sun is going down but I haven't found a single soft spot and only one actual bad spot on the entire boat. And I'll point that out to you. Um, the boat has new bow thruster and stern thruster, um, obviously electric windlass, beautiful hatches and lots of beautiful new canvas and isinglass and seat covers, obviously also the uh, helm glass covers and you can see through those but not you know you wouldn't want to operate like that but it certainly gives you privacy at the dock and of course tons of access you can see how shiny the gel coat is and it looks probably better in person than it does on this on this film uh, the owners polished and waxed this boat on a regular basis uh, and it has been sort of maybe 95 to 99 percent of its life in fresh water uh, has not been in salt water except to do the loop, which was about eight weeks before, maybe in salt water. And in the last, since January, it's been here in, uh, in salt water. But other than that, it's been its, its entire life in Minnesota. Of course, the helm, the interior helm, the lower helm, and you've got a seat here that's removable, of course, and it folds up. It's just a really kind of handy seat. Also, you know, if you know the Bayliner uh, model and layout, this seat actually comes up and you can go through that door or you can, you know, relax here while the captain's doing his business sailing this boat somewhere. Um, b and Electronics, Autopilot is Ray Marine. Um, nice. Um, you know, just everything you need is right here accessible. Of course, as is in keeping with the way this owner takes care of this boat, all new zincs are sitting here for when we haul it out. It's not that it needs them, but we have them here to replace the first time we haul it out. Of course, the you know the as you probably also know, access to the um, to the um, well, I don't have a light on in there, but uh, I'm not sure where that light is. But uh, the breaker panel is right here it's got a beautiful generator runs the entire boat so no matter what you're doing you can operate this boat uh, with full power air conditioning uh, on the hook any way you want to go about it perfect loop boat a new ice maker here sorry for the darkness but it is getting dark here new ice maker and of course they left the boat and left it in a position where nothing will start to mold or mildew or anything like that the galley has a beautiful refrigerator um, it's got nice countertops, very solid, brand new carpet throughout the boat. Uh, the upholstery is a 10 out of 10. I'm not seeing any issues with the upholstery or the headliner. Um, of course, the microwave. While I'm here, and it does have a trash compactor as well. One thing they did was they took out the old deep TV and put in a flat screen here, which opened up what was basically TV storage. And now you've got this massive um, drawer, two drawers here that make for a great pantry right here in the kitchen where you would need it. And of course, um, soft clothes cabinetry, two sinks, a little one and a, and a really good sized one, of course, uh, microwave oven, which is electric. I guess they're leaving their coffee maker for you too. So a uh, nice size fridge. And then of course the cabins below. And uh, I'm, I apologize again for the dark nature of the video, but um, he's got a fan running to keep the moisture down. This is one of the guest cabins. It looks to be at least a full, maybe a queen. Uh, super clean everywhere. And then here is the guest galley or the day head if you want to call it and it does have a shower it's not a wet head so very clean no odors whatsoever um vacuum flush heads what else would you have the washer dryer combo is here let me turn these lights on that'll help the washer dryer combo is here but they only use it for the washer 
uh, the dryer does work, but they they use, um, and I think it's a Splendid, I believe. Uh, not sure. I uh, can't see the name tag on it. But they use it for the washer, and it is a very nice washer. Um, and then they added a dryer right back here. And you probably, if you're an enthusiast, you probably noticed something different about this boat that we just walked past. There's the dryer. Does take up some of the hanging closet here, but um, nice big dryer. And what you probably noticed that is different, this bunk room is normally a private cabin. And there is a wall that goes here and there and a door here so that it is separated. Now there's the door that opened to that, but they took it out and you cannot tell that, that it didn't come from the factory this way. So you could certainly put that back if you wanted to have this portion of the wall right here to close this out as a separate, but they did it to open it up. And of course this is the master. And here is the master bath with a full tub. You might notice that is super awesome. And very clean again no odor thank you flush head now as we go back to the back um, i won't go into the engine room because there are pictures of that on the uh on the website and it is super clean i mean it's the cleanest engine room i've seen in a long time cummins turbos perfect order the generator is here and of course um this is the aft cockpit which is perfect for fishing uh, swim platform is here. Great swim platform. Super clean. I told you I'd show you the one spot that I found in the boat. It's right here. Right here in the passerelle. Oh, yeah. Right there in that corner, there's a little bit of cracking. Right in that corner. That's it. That's all I've found. Um, of course, all the safety gear is here. You don't even have to make a trip to Home Depot. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> Not Home Depot. West Marine. A newer dinghy and motor. And it's a Mercury dinghy. I'll show you that from the top side. Um, of course, fishing rod holders. Um, yeah, uh, just super clean boat. Now let's go back up to the upper helm and I will show you. Got great covers. Now, uh, the upper helm has covers that are a different color because they had, uh, they replaced this awning in Bimini and they wanted the dark blue, uh, but they didn't replace the seat covers, which are in great shape. I mean, it's just super tight, really nice. Um, you know, the helm here, and I could unbutton all this stuff, but it's, it, you'll just have to trust me for now. It's absolutely beautiful. Here's the dinghy, and the dinghy davit system is super heavy duty. Um, and they put this here so you can actually walk across this without fear of breaking through. So there's the dinghy motor, Mercury. Um, just a super cool boat and that's basically a brand new dinghy that's my story and i'm sticking to it there's the electronics at the top and fortress anchor here all the stuff you need is here uh oh this is the uh they've even got the little tow uh bridle for the dinghy right there that's it if you have any questions give me a call 731-217-6649 thank you